it is super early in the morning and I'm going on a bit of a rescue mission. We had a message to say that a racehorse needed rescuing because apparently he's about to be put to sleep. Now, where I'm not in a position to be able to rescue a racehorse myself because, well, I don't have facilities to rehab a, re a racehorse. But what I did say is if anyone in our group was, well, wanted to take him on, then I would happily pick him up and deliver him wherever in the UK. So that's what I'm doing this morning. So the wonderful Dawn has said that she's going to take him on. It'll be the first horse that she's ever really owned because she's always loaned horses up until now. Yeah, maybe it's time for her to have her own horse. So, yeah, it's going to be around a six to seven hour round trip. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be amazing. So let's get going. I need to go and get some diesel and get Bruce to school and all before half past eight in the morning. <laughs> so Bruce is at school and now let's go get some diesel. <sighs> It's so cold, it's actually burning my fingers. Bruce has been dropped off. We've now got diesel. So I'm gonna go and get Dawn and then we'll get going. Well, Dawn's just got here. Are you excited, Dawn? Just a bit. Are you really nervous? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, oh it's going to be exciting. So let's get on the road and go and rescue a racehorse. Hold that down. Pointed at nice things. The reason why this thoroughbred is up for rehoming is because about a month ago he damaged his superficial ligament, which means he'll have to go on box rest until the spring. On a racing yard, space and time is money, and because there will always be a chance that he could pull this ligament again, unfortunately, he won't ever be able to race again. It's really important to have a plan put together by your vet and monitor the area well to make sure the healing process is going perfectly well. <laughs> so we've got him he's on the back of bertha and oh what a lovely man that we've just taken him from and all he wants is for him to go to a really lovely home where oh where he'll have time to come sound and live out his days which will be lovely <laughs> it's so it is <laughs> You excited? Excited, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. huge, isn't he? He is. He's a big boy. Huge. Beautiful. Well, words. Um, absolutely stunning. Lovely. Yeah. And he's just stood there. He's just smelled, isn't he? he has. What got me was how calm he is. He's so calm. Gosh. Yeah. Right then. So we're gonna head home now. I'm not gonna lie. I am hungry, so we're gonna have to stop at a services somewhere. But. We're gonna get him home. Hopefully it won't take too long. Probably about <laughs> three hours. Yeah, and then we'll film getting him off the box. <sighs> We've stopped at the services. 
I am absolutely knackered. <sighs> and then we can check that Bliss is okay. Let's just open this. And there he is. Oh, he's so beautiful. Hello, big lad. I'm gonna get me a hamburger from McDonald's and uh and then we'll get the rest of the way back i think we're about 50 miles away from home now oh i tell you what it really does hurt your neck driving this thing and i've got a headache i'm so tired to the yard oh hello Bobby oh there's a dog with a cone on its head hello Bobby hello you're beautiful you're so be oh you're savage <laughs> so let's get him off the box he's helpful told you Up so he can bandage his leg up. Are you happy, Dawn? Hopefully, you can see me. Well. We managed to get Bliss into his lovely new stable and he's all happy and comfortable in the new stable. But on the way home, all of a sudden, my lights went off. And the lorry is now dead on the side of the road. It could be the fan belt or the alternator, but I've got absolutely no power. I can jump start it and it drives fine, but I've got no power, no lights. And it's absolutely pitch black, as you can see. So, we've called the recovery and they're on the way. And because we're in such a ridiculously dangerous position, they're going to be here in, in under an hour. So, freezing cold. Let's hope that they're here soon. Simon has turned up with his car and has put his car behind, behind us so that we've got some kind of indicator because even my indicators aren't working. Thank you so much, Simon. You're welcome. It is so, so cold. Are you all right, Dorney? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> At least we've got the horse back. Yeah. <laughs> and he's happy in his stable, though. Oh, bless him. We need to be in that warm stable. <laughs> Does it get up there? Right. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Does it just drive on or drag on? No, nah, I'll drag it on. Yeah. That's so cool. Do you know, I always wanted to be a recovery driver. 
I know that sounds mad. I left being a gamekeeper. Yeah. To be a recovery driver. Really? And do you love it much more? Yeah. So this is it. So this to me is fascinating. What's your name? My name's Matt. Max? Matt. Matt. Yeah. Thank you so much, Matt, for rescuing me. <laughs> so, I'm now in a recovery van and we're going to get recovered back home. The lovely Matt has, has rescued us and he reckons it's just the alternator and he says it's just three bolts and a wire so it shouldn't be too much effort to get her back on the road. Well, we've managed to get home. What a day. Oh, rescuing a racehorse really did turn into a bit of a disaster but well it all adds to the stories of our lives doesn't it so thank you so much for watching this video i know it's not our usual uh yeah but thank you and don't forget to join us for our next one Bye bye